you're starting to see a lot of things out there about a new way to swing, and they're talking about a couple of things. It's kind of universal now that everybody wants the club relative to your hands as you take the club away at this point for the club head to be on that side of your hands. Nobody wants the club going back in here. So when you look at teachers across the industry, most of them are pretty much on board with that. But then we start talking about as you go up to the transition point of the club, which I hate to call it the top because it's really the transition point of the club, then, it, then we start to get into some ideas. And I've been watching a lot of videos and watching, I watch what everybody does. So there's a particular idea about how the club works and they, ca they call it all different things. They've got hub path and they've got club head path and center of mass and they're talking about a lot of physics relative to forces. And they made the comment, or I keep seeing this comment about the fact that what most players do is that if their arms come down, if they go up to the top of the swing and their arms come down, that they end up running their arms into their bodies. And so they're calling this, you know, they get stuck or they're right, their arms get stuck in here. And so they're going, what you want to do is you want to get the club here. And then when you change directions, you want to put your arms out in front of you and the club does this. And then you pull the handle down so there's room for your arms to swing. I'm going, okay, I agree you want room for your arms to swing. But let's just talk about how this moves. So when I set up, when I go back, when I start down, yeah, I want my arms in front of me. My arms are in front of me. And I can, I can shallow my arms and shallow the club, and this isn't in my way. So wh wh what's, where is, what's, what's this? Why do people keep seeing this and trying to fix it by moving their arms out to come in? Well, if this hip works correctly, the club is in front of you sooner. It's in a better arc with less manipulation and less force that you have to use your body twisting to get the club back on the ball. So if I set up here and I go back and this moves out of the way and I change directions correctly, see there's plenty of room in here for my arms to swing into the ball. I, there's no get stuck, my arms, it doesn't matter. I mean, I can really shallow my arms. I can make them make a big loop. There's plenty of room in here. I mean, Nicholas talked about his whole career that his goal was to get this hip as far out of the way as he could get it and keep it out of the way as long as he could to get his arms back down in here. Tiger talked about the same thing, except he didn't say get out of the way. He said he wanted this hip socket as deep as he could possibly get it and then when he started down, he wanted his left hip socket as deep as he could get that. So that created massive amounts of space and it offset the momentum of the club. Because the momentum of the club, Jack talked about releasing the club from the top, getting it started here. Well, what he was doing was getting it into the correct arc so he could constantly push back away from it. Now, if you take these... these Rotex motion things, for years, here's what everybody talked about. You go up, and then you go, whew. I rotate my feet on these, but what's happening to my body? The old guys, the Sam Sneeds, the Togans, all of those guys used to talk about sit-down position. Well, see, when I use this, and I go like that, and I twist my feet, okay, what's happening to my hip? You see, there's still plenty of room for my arms to swing. So I'm not going to disagree you want room for your arms, but to create it by throwing your arms out and the club back and then pulling the handle in and trying to twist your body to throw the club out to the ball is a little complicated. All right, so when you're working on this, it's about getting out of the way. Yes, get out of the way. The club's in front of me. I mean, I want the club right there. Boom. I honestly, I, I don't want it back here either. But the only way it's going to get back there is if my hips go up. So if this works correctly, there's plenty of room for my arms, and the club is going up and coming down. I don't have to... There's not multiple loops and forces that I have to deal with to get the club to the ball. It's about 
ease of motion and consistency. There's a lot of ways to do it, but you can try that. But I can tell you, if you stay out of the way, you don't have to worry about throwing your arms out to drop the club behind you to pull your arms back in again. That's multiple motions that are very difficult to perform. Are there some that do it? Sure there are. Try it both ways. Whatever works the best, stay with it. Hi, I'm Mike Malaska with MalaskaGolf.com. Now, if you want to learn how to hit it far and you really want to beat up on your friends, you want to do this drill to figure out how to create a lot of speed. So you're just on your knees, make a swing. That ball is going to go 230, 240 in the air. Now, not only are you going to learn how to hit the ball farther when you stand up, but if you can do that, you can own your friends on the golf course with bets. 